This picture of memory performance helps us know that if we want to make a program go fast, it's great if we can either use very little data or if we can access that data in a very regular and sequential pattern. We don't always have those options, however, and investigating other choices requires yet more details about how a cache works. Let's consider the case where we want to get the value of some address, and the uh, value may or may not be in this cache here. So I'm showing one layer of cache. Each of these white chunks is some block of memory that has been moved into the cache before. Now these particular blocks are of a, are of a certain size, and we're going to call that size B, and it's always a power of 2. So that means that when we're looking up at a particular address, the last B bytes are going to be the position of the memory that we want within a block. That means our real problem then is to use these remaining bits and somehow match those up with a particular block of bytes in the cache. So we can think of those remaining bits as a key that will uh, be used to look up these blocks. And that means these blocks uh, need to be just uh, not just the data, but the data paired with the key. And in general, we also have this green box, which is a valid bit that says whether this key is actually set or not. Uh, because when we start off, the cache is all empty and none of the keys are there. There's actually one more layer of refinement here in a typical cache. Uh, that is, instead of having to search the whole cache to find a matching cache key, the cache itself is organized into sets. So we can view those sets as being a kind of horizontal organization of the different cache lines. Uh, and recall, a cache line is a block with a key and a valid bit. Uh, each of those cache lines is grouped together in a set. We have some number of sets, uh, and we have some number of cache lines in each set. So we're going to use S to represent the number of sets we have, and we'll use E to represent the number of lines we have per set. Uh, another word for E is the associativity of the set, as we will see. So now we have a refined process for looking up an entry in the cache. The bottom B bits are still going to be some block within a particular cache lines block. Uh, some offset within a particular cache lines block. But the next set of S bits corresponds to which set we should look in. So we take those bits and use it to index the horizontal rows here. Uh, in particular, if these bits are all one, then we'll be looking at the last set uh, in the cache. And now the problem is within this set to find a match to this particular tag. Uh, at this point, uh, it may be few enough that it's cheap enough to make hardware to look for this tag in parallel in all the particular lines within a set. Uh, and the amount of parallelism, uh, the amount of searching it has to do within a set, is called the associativity. Or um, in this case, uh, using the, the number E here for the number of lines we have per set, an E-way associative cache has E lines per set. And when E equals 1, there's a special word for that kind of cache that's called a direct mapped cache. Because in that case, as soon as you decode the set, then there's exactly one line that may or may not have the tag that you're looking for. Note also that the cache size, which we abbreviate as C, that's the product of the number of bytes in a given block, the number of sets that have those blocks, and the number of blocks per set, which is the associativity E. So E times S times B is the cache size in bytes. Let's suppose then that uh, when we've decided to look in this uh, set S, that this pink tag here matched the second one. And let's zoom in a little bit on that. So it would match because the valid bit is set to 1, saying this tag is valid to compare against, and that this tag was the same as the upper bits in the address that we're looking for. In that case, we know that the byte we're looking for is in that cache lines block. And so we take the block offset and use it to index into that block.